I never really explained where the sheath of the sword goes. <laughs> Come on. Put her in there. She never did anything useful anyway. Okay, let's go. Well, you expected something special to happen? She's never done anything useful this game. Why should it? Link! Fuck you! Link, hear me. My purpose was to obey the command of the goddess and lead you, the chosen hero of this land, on your quest. When I first awoke and began this task, I perceived it as merely serving my function as a servant to her grace. However, I have come to consider the information corresponding to our time together among the most precious data I have on record. Where you did nothing to help me. <laughs> I do not have the capability to fully understand the human spirit, Link. But now, at the end of my journey with you, I prepare to sleep within the Master Sword forever. I experience a feeling I am unable to identify. I lack sufficient data to be sure of my conclusion. But I believe this feeling correlates closest to what your people call happiness. Bum bum bum! Our partnership is at an end. And even as we speak, I feel my consciousness fading away. Before I enter the sleep that calls me in the sword, I wish to relay you words that I have recorded many times over the course of our journey. Many have said them to you thus far, but I now wish to say them for myself. Thank you, Master Link. May we meet again in another life, even though she just said she's sleeping forever. Haha! <laughs> No! Not Fee! No! <laughs> what, Impa? Why? Come with us. Zelda, your grace, you possess the memories of the goddess. You must understand why that is not possible. I, I am a being of this age. My place is here. Oh boy, this they couldn't make this ending happy in any way, could they? I I know that, but You must return to your own time. I will take care of the gate once you have passed through. I can't do that. You and I have been through so much together, I don't want to leave you alone. Please, Impa, come back with us. Zelda, at the command of the goddess, I passed through the gate of time. I did so to protect you and aid the flight, aid the fight to prevent the world's destruction. The last remnants of demise are slowly decaying within the sword. Someone must stay behind to watch over this blade. His spirit must not reawaken. He must never be allowed to threaten the world again. Which he will, but they don't know that. <laughs> this is the nature of the task given to my tribe. As a member of the Sheikah, the goddess's chosen guardians, I gladly welcome this duty. Zelda, I shall watch over the Triforce. Its power is too great to leave in the grasp of man. Dependence on its might is an invitation to disaster. When it has served its purpose, it must be secreted away to lie dormant once again, the knowledge of its existence hidden from mortal history. These are the words the goddess spoke to me long ago. I remember them well, as do you, I'm sure. Do not despair, Zelda. You and I will surely meet again someday. After you've died and been reincarnated.
And the gate's gonna shatter. Well, shattering would have been cooler anyway. Granny! Yeah, I knew it. That was Impa. See, she has the bracelet still. <laughs> See, I told you. I knew this the whole game. See? I told you we meet again someday. Yo, she's been sitting here for thousands of years waiting to say that. That's so effed up. Uh -huh. Oh. Oh well. So much for that reunion. Well, just when you thought it could have been happy, they do this. Impa, thank you. Thank you for everything. This is your first appearance in a Zelda game in over 10 years. The heck? What's inside those doors? And that looks like the end. The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword! Part of the 25th anniversary, right? Well, I have to say, that game was actually a lot better than I thought it would be. That's it. I'm just gonna show this. Now then, Nintendo, uh, I think it's time to remake Oracle of Ages and Seasons. So, that's basically it for the playthrough. It was actually very interesting, and, uh, I haven't played a Zelda game in a while, so, you know, that was well worth it. So, thank you for watching, and of course, now I'm going to leave, because I'm bored. <laughs> After finishing that cutscene, I am bored.
Of course, that's when Impa kicked ass and uh, saved Zelda. In case you haven't known, this is what happened when Zelda was being led around by Impa. Back when uh, I was still slowly maneuvering around the world. This is what happened when they got into the past. Actually, what were they doing in the past? I forget. I think their goal was just there to wait for me then. Oh yes, what lovely design. I have to say though, the visual effects, how they mix sort of the cartoonishness of the Wind Waker with the Twilight Princess, that looks really well. I actually, it actually looks a lot better than I initially thought it would look. The idea itself sounds absolutely stupid, but they actually did it pretty well. I'm surprised. Fairly well, fairly reasonably surprised. So now they're going to show every area. Do a general pan around. Ancient cistern. Oh, they're going out of order. Through the black pit beneath it where those poor, poor Bo Koblins got squished. And that's the outside of it. Well, that's gonna get boring. What this? How oh, the Hyrule Symphony Orchestra. They actually have an orchestra named after the Zelda games. And again, this is Nintendo. I should expect something like that. That's that island I visited once and never came back to. Where the hell is this? Oh, it's the desert. Where the Temple of Time was. Bum bum bum. Dawn. Kaboom! Isn't that dude like the executive producer of every Nintendo game? For like the past 20 years? I'm pretty sure he's been everywhere. And there's the Triforce. Shining brightly. The end of the game. Nintendo! Wow. Well, that was one hell of a game. Forget... 
just forget Zelda. That was a really good game. And look, there's an epilogue. Ah, they're all coming down to the ground, aren't they? The birds are so small. What are we going to eat for dinner now? So now, Zelda, uh, at the start of this game, uh, when we said uh, <laughs> we we're going to have our moment up here, let me put this harp down and I'll, you can take the giant sock off my head. It's dickhead number one. And his two fellow dickheads. What's wrong? Look around us. As a child, I always dreamt of a world below. I wanted to see the surface with my own eyes and feel the land's warm breeze on my skin. I think she did say this at the beginning of the game. I, I think I want to live here. I've always wanted to feel solid ground beneath my feet, see the clouds above my head, and watch over the Triforce. Yes, you've always wanted to do that. What about you, Link? What will you do now? See, I'm going to go tame this horse. And uh, I'm gonna ride around like an idiot. I already have the idiot part down. I wear a sock on my head. That's it. The end. And that's how they all come back to the ground. Hey, look, it's turning blue. And it's withering away. You can play again in hero mode using this save data. Do I want to continue? No, I don't want to start in again. Yes, don't save. I don't want to start now. Do it maybe later. Maybe not. Maybe never. Who knows? And, well, that's it, everyone, for the Skyward Sword. It just loops right back to the title screen. So I hope you enjoyed the ride because, uh, well, it's over.